All right, guys, hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all keeping safe. Welcome back to another weekly vendor reset video. It's actually my birthday today. So what I'm doing is I'm jumping on, doing this video for you guys, and then I'm jumping off. Hope that's okay. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Let's uh, see what the first vendor has then. So we've got the Everyday Carrier, a carrier a Balsan Armory chess piece with Perfectly Efficient. Uh, we then we've got the Tactical SBR with Outsider on them. We've got a Fal here with uh, Reformation. Tactical M1911 with Breadbasket. Uh, we've got a Seska backpack with uh, weapon damage, hazard protection, and skill haste. We've then got a Femurus chest piece with Mad Bomber, weapon damage, to SFX crit chance, 10.3% uh, crit damage mod, 6.3% deflect duration mod, uh, plus one extra mortar ammo, and then we got 4.3% skill haste for the sticky. So, pretty awful. Vendor, clan vendor that is. Emmeline's Guard, uh, which is the named P90 submachine gun with SMG damage, crit chance, Headshot damage and perfect preservation. I might pick this one up because I actually don't have a very good Emmeline's guard. Um, and with SMG damage and crit chance, I can obviously roll uh, the other attribute, headshot damage to crit damage. And this is actually a pretty good weapon with the right build. This actually works really well. Um, so yeah, definitely worth picking up if you don't have it already. Eclipse protocol backpack with status effects. Uh, rigor chest piece with skill damage on there. That's pretty good. We've also got negotiator's dilemma with weapon damage. And explosive resistance, that's uh, gloves on that one. we got a D50 with max pistol damage. And then damage to armor and lucky shot. Uh, black market AKM with assault rifle damage. Ha um, health damage, magazine size and bread basket. Up summer gloves with status effects. we got overlord mask with weapon damage, crit chance and headshot damage. That's actually again a pretty good piece. If you're in need of an overlord mask with full red, that works pretty well. Uh, because getting headshot damage on a rifle is pretty good. Although you could just roll that to crit damage if you want. SR1, my least favorite sniper in the game with maximum rifle damage, max headshot damage. Which would be good for the uh, recal library if you don't have that yet. And then stability on there with reformation. We've got Fenris gloves with weapon damage, crit damage and skill damage. This is actually a pretty good... Uh, piece of gear here and the reason I say that is because um, a lot of the time especially with like a build that I've got I run a red and um, skill damage hybrid so in a red red and yellow piece basically and so having good weapon damage and you know crit damage or crit chance for example and then having a, a yellow on there like skill damage works perfectly so that's definitely a good pickup um, we then got um, this china light mask with skill haste and crit chance and then we got 8.7% blind death resistance mod 9% skill duration mod 5.2% skill haste for the pulse and then we got plus one max targets all right fear to settlement we got fox's prayer again weapon damage almost max damage targets out of cover max and then we got headshot damage so again like the best piece of gear you can get in the game for just raw damage on a rifle. Uh, even without a rifle build, most people run this for a max DPS. So this is definitely worth picking up. Uh, M870 Express Shotgun. Uh, we've got Socon M1A uh, with rifle damage, crit damage, and reload speed. We've got a 511 Tactical Gloves. Uh, Petrov knee pads. 8.5% uh, blind death resistance mod. 4.1% radius. 4.3% uh, holster regeneration for shield, plus one max targets, and then 6% duration for decoy. So yeah, really the only thing worth picking up from here is the Fox's Prayer, and this is a pretty good one. All right, so we're at the campus vendor. Let's see what we have this week. We've got Punch Drunk, uh, weapon damage, headshot damage, and then health on there. Uh, again, if you're, if you're in need of a pistol building, you're trying to hit those headshots... This works perfectly. If you're running like a regular, uh, the, a build of Regulus, the exotic, then this is perfect for that. Uh, obviously, roll away the health, whatever you want, but weapon damage, headshot damage is great. Custom M44 uh, with Eyeless moving on. Military MK46 within sync. LMG damage, damage targets out of cover, and then headshot damage. Not a bad roll for a military MK46. Roll, uh, removing that headshot damage for damage to armor, and in sync's always good. Empress Mask with skill damage, hazard protection. China Light Holster with skill damage, uh, critical hit damage on that piece. And then we've got 16.2% repair skills, 7.6% ensnare duration, 7.7% uh, health for the hive, 8.6% radius, and then 4.3% duration for trap. All right, DZ South Entrance, we have the gift. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, weapon damage, headshot damage, and then armor regen with perfect vigilance. Uh, this is definitely worth picking up. Obviously, this isn't the best piece you'll ever see. Um, it's not great actually, but you could roll away probably the armor regen on that. Get a red piece on there, probably crit dam uh, crit chance 
uh, or maybe even crit damage depending on whatever pieces you've got. And then you're going to obviously have to use optimization to get this fully up. But this, again, is one of the best pieces that you're going to get in the game for damage. Uh, that extra 25% uh, damage on that piece. So definitely worth picking up. This doesn't come along too often, to be honest. Um, Black Market T821. Uh, we've got a foul SA58. I really like this foul. We've got another D50 on there. Uh, hardwired backpack with repair skills. True Patriot chest piece armor and uh, health. Alps Summit Backpack with Protector. It's got skill damage and repair skills on there. So, uh, again, not a bad piece at all. You could roll away that talent for whatever you want, and it's all yellow, which is pretty good. Rick, uh, Richter and Kaiser Chess Piece with Reassigned. Don't really want that. Um, but, again, you could roll away the that talent, and it's not a bad... Oh, actually, I was going to say it's not a bad piece. It actually is because it's got health on there. And as most of you will know, blue in this game is bad and definitely needs a buff in year three. 10.1% uh, crit damage mod, 6.3% deflect duration, 6.1% duration for the turret, and then 4.9% blast radius for sticky. All right, DZ West entrance. We've got the Virginian. Again, something that doesn't come along very often. It's got perfect boomerang, rifle damage, crit damage, and health damage on there. So not a bad piece at all. And again, this doesn't come along very often, so definitely if you've got the DZ credits, definitely worth picking this up. Uh, would I say that you should go in the DZ to get the credits to buy this? Probably not. It's probably not worth it that much. The gift is, definitely, but this, probably not. But still a good piece, uh, if you don't have it already. Tactical Super 90 SBS with Ranger. Never understand why Ranger comes on shotguns, but moving on. Uh, SIG 716, rifle damage, crit damage, damage to armor, and fast hands. Uh, I do love the SIG 716. It's actually a pretty good roll. Uh, Eclipse Protocol gloves. Uh, we've got Rigger knee pads. Empress Gloves with Explosive Resistance and Crit Damage, so we don't want that. Badger Tough Knee Pads with Armor, Health, and Crit Chance, and moving on. 8.3% Shock Resistance mod, 5% uh, Skill Haste. We've got 1% Damage Bonus per enemy for the Shield, plus 1 Max Targets, and then 6% Duration for the Decoy. All right, last, DZ Vendor, DZ East. We've got the White Death uh, with Marks from Rifle Damage, Headshot Damage, Rate of Fire, with Vindictive. I think there was a better one last week. We've got a Model 700 uh, on there as well. We've got a Stoner LAMG. -L I can always struggle to say that quickly. LMG damage, targets are, damage targets out of cover and rate of fire with Overwhelm. Negotiator's Dilemma uh, Mask with weapon damage and crit chance. So if you are in need of a, a, a good red rolled one, then that's actually a pretty good one. Uh, we've got weapon damage and hazard protection on this ongoing directive holster. Hannah Yu Mask with armor regen and explosive resistance. Uh, Empress International Holster with uh, weapon handling and status effects. We've got 10.2% skill haste mod, 4.3% damage. Uh, we've got 7.6% health for the hive. And then 8.9% radius for pulse, and then 5.8% duration for trap. So let's go to New York now that we've done all the DZ ones. All right, so in New York, last two vendors got an AKM with Steady Handed, Custom L86A2 with Future Perfect, Resolute MK47 with Future Perfect, Damage to Targets Out of Cover, Crit Damage, and Rifle Damage. So actually a pretty good pickup there, um, because I do love this particular rifle. Uh, 93R pistol with close and personal. Richter and Kaiser backpack with vigilance, skill damage, hazard protection. We've got Douglas and Harding knee pads, weapon damage, weapon hand and status effects. Arrow to Holdings mask, weapon damage, headshot damage, and hazard protection. So, yeah, I mean, if you are doing, say, um, I don't know, a sniper build, this could come in handy, definitely. 8.5% uh, blind death resistance mod, 8.4% disrupt resistance, 4.2% uh, damage for turret, we got 7.9% uh, health for swarm, and then for sticky, we got 4% burn duration. And let's go around to the last vendor here in New York. I do hope in year three that they change these vendors to at least have named items guaranteed like the other vendors do. And I would love to see an exotic from time to time. Lastly, we got the CMMG Banshee uh, SMG, which is probably my favorite looking SMG in this game. SMG damage, crit chance, and health damage with close and personal. So this is actually, again, pretty good piece. You want to get rid of that health damage for uh, crit damage and then optimize it, and you've got yourself a pretty good piece there. Tactical M249 Para with Ranger. Classic M1A with Ignited, but it's got rifle damage, crit damage, and crit chance on there. So you could always, if you are in need of a good classic M1A, this could fit in that one. Especially on console where headshots are hard to hit. It's probably best just going crit damage and crit chance. So just remove that talent for whatever you want, really. Uh, some damage-based, and then you've got yourself a good build in there. Uh, good 
weapon, not build. X45 a pistol. We've got a Provenance backpack with max weapon damage, crit chance, and crit damage with leadership. So, again, this is a pretty good piece. Uh, I would highly recommend picking this up if you're in need of a good damage piece. This will do well. Get rid of the leadership for Vigilance or something like that. Uh, and you've got yourself a great piece there. We've got Golden Gear, Knee Pads. Uh, we've also got Sokolov, Concern, Holster, Weapon Damage, uh, Skill Damage, Crit Chance. And then we've got 16.4% repa uh, Repair Skills mod, 8.3% Shock Resistance mod, 6% Duration, plus 1 Max Targets. And then 6% duration for decoy. So that's it for this, guys. Uh, for this week, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this one. Uh, I am back at work, so to say, um, tomorrow. So um, I do have some video ideas for covering the division Heartland. And based on the news we have recently, I've got some videos surrounding monetization. Whether it's going to be a battle royale or it's going to be survival or something else. Also, guys, um, I don't know if anyone picked up on this. But I'm going to talk about it in, in a video um, soon. There might be a level increase with this year free. I know before they've they've said it's not going to happen, but with some of the wording that was used recently on this new article, I wouldn't be surprised if they've changed their mind. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a, a video in the future, but that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Until the next one, guys. Epic out.